Let's talk about Zordon. Talk about Zordon of Eltar is a being from the planet Eltar. His first appearance is in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in 1993, going all the way through to his final appearance in Power Rangers in Space in 1998. Outside of the television show, all of his appearances are not canonically linked. Those include the 1995 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, the 2017 Power Rangers movie, and the Boom Studios comic books. I'm not really going to get into the mythos of the comic book because Zordon of the comic book has a much more flushed out backstory that I'm unaware of because I don't read the Boom Studios comic books, so I'm just going to stick with the TV show canon. Zordon's exact age is not established in the show, but from the way he and Alpha talk about previous life experiences, we can assume he's several thousand years old. After all, he's been laying in wait on Earth for Rita's inevitable escape from the dumpster that she was put in 10,000 years ago. They've also had time to build the entire command center, as well as Alpha and Zordon found the power coins created by Ninjor on the planet Earth several hundred years ago. However, during that time period, it's entirely possible that Zordon left Earth to help out other planets in their time of crisis. He's known of on KO-35, and the way Andros talks about him, it seems like maybe he knew him. We also see in Power Rangers in space that they're able to move his tube around with him inside, as well as in Power Rangers Turbo, when Zordon and Alpha leave for Eltar, we see Larago use magic to remove Zordon from his tube. Zordon, the wormhole will be completely open soon, but it will only remain open for a matter of moments. Oh, ay, 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 ay. oh Larago, you made it! Oh, oh, it's yes, the wormhole is nearly ready for interdimensional travel, Zordon. Did you catch that? Interdimensional travel? I think Eltar may actually exist in an alternate dimension from the main Power Rangers universe, which is why they need Larago's magical assistance in order to get there. I've heard a lot of people cite this episode as the reason why it's impossible for Zordon to get around regularly, for instance, going to KO-35, but that's in the same dimension as the Power Rangers Earth, so simple teleportation would do. Tell us what? Larago has returned to give me my freedom. I will soon return to my home planet to rejoin my own family. Now, since we see that he leaves his tube in order to travel back to Eltar, but when he is captured in Power Rangers in space, he's in a new tube, we can assume that there are multiples, though very limited. These are probably very difficult and complicated to build, but we can assume there is more than one location that Zordon can broadcast from, and I'll get into why I say broadcast later. We don't even need to get into the fact that Demetrius shows up in Zordon's tube after he leaves it. The exact parameters of Zordon's power and his skill set are never established in the show, but he is greatly known and feared throughout the galaxy by a lot of villains. He is widely renowned as being a being of pure good, though this is contested by a lot of fans who reject the fact that Zordon hires miners to fight monsters. Many of those fans are now feeling vindicated as a recent Boom Studios comic book arc reveals that Zordon may not be the goody two-shoes we always thought he was. These are all of the actors who have played Zordon. I don't know why I'm standing in front of this screenshot right now, I really just wanted to show you all the actors who played Zordon. Okay, you've had time to look at it now. The real reason behind making this video is that I wanted to talk about Zordon's state of being and his real existence in the tangible world. I want to talk about his tube. When Zordon makes his first appearance in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Episode 1, he says he's trapped in a time warp, and that's really the only explanation they ever give as to why he's in a big blue tube. Welcome, humans! Uh, uh... So who are you? Like, what are you? I am Zordon, an interdimensional being caught in a time warp. And my name is Alpha 5. So a lot of people operate under the assumption that his tube is the time warp. But it was always my belief that the Time Warp is a location somewhere in space and time where Zordon's physical form is trapped and can't escape from, and that the tube is a means of communicating with him or phoning him in, so to speak. Here's the definition of a Time Warp, and I'm just going to say that seems more like it's describing an anomaly in the space-time continuum more than it's describing just kind of like a blue tube. 
If you play back Zordon's first appearance slowly, it looks like someone turning on a projector. Check out this scene in season three where they lose his signal. Those powerful energies must have acted as a shield against Hate Master's dust. Help us. Hi, yi, yi! Someone's pulled our plug! We've lost all power! Zordon's gone! We've lost the backup generators too! What's happening? That should take care of you, Zordon. Am I good or what? Yeah, cool. Without power, old man Zoran won't be bugging me, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Aisha must have gotten the jamming device back from Billy. Zordon, you're back! When a hospital loses power, they have backup generators to ensure that people on life support aren't not on life support anymore. When Billy cuts the power to the command center, we see they're completely out of power. No backup generators. But Zordon's not dead. They've just lost contact with him. To me, that says that the tube is a communication device, not like an iron lung or a life support system. And as we can see in the clips I'm about to show, it is a device that can be reprogrammed. Here's my present for you, Zordon. <laughs> I hope you like it. I programmed it myself. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Alpha. That was very thoughtful. No way, Egghead. I'm just getting started fooling with you. What are you doing? Stop this mischief at once. What a difference. You're a brand new head. Now, let's see what a little color will do for you. This is no time for fun and games, Alpha. Get these hey, flowers off me. How about a little hair? <laughs> Obviously, you malfunction. You need help, Alpha. Hmm, something is still missing. I know. How about some glasses? <laughs> Alpha, you must... Alpha's not sending those items to Zordon like a candy bar through Wonka Vision. He is basically using Snapchat filters to alter the way that Zordon looks on the screen that he is projected on. Stop this at once! What's happened to you? In fact, I think for now I'll fix it so I don't have to listen to you either! Alpha, you don't know what you're doing! Please don't involve me! You know, I've had just about enough of you. There, how do you like them apples? Alpha, no! You don't know what you're doing! So, if he was in the tube, Alpha just killed him. But that's not what happened. But what about Zordon? He's been de energized. Ay, ay, ay. Billy, you've got to find him. I've got something here. Excellent work, Rangers. Thank goodness you're here. What was the problem, Zordon? What's important is that Billy has fixed it. Yeah, way to go, Billy. Thanks. I still can't believe I imprisoned the Power Rangers and de-energized you, Zordon! The fact that they use the word de-energize really lends to my idea, because if it was a life support system and you unplugged it from the power source, Zordon would perish. If it's just a communication device, unplugging it is like unplugging a radio, you don't get a signal anymore. And I really blame the 1995 Power Rangers movie for convincing everyone that Zordon is in that tube. Zordon! What's happening to him? Outside of his time warp. He's dying. He needs power. Quick complaint, I understand the creative impetus behind let's make him blue because he's always been blue and that's how he's relatable to children, but it was my assumption the tube was blue and he just looked blue through the glass. At this point, it's so important to remember the 1995 movie is not canonically linked with the television show. In Power Rangers in Space, when they use the tube to drain Zordon's power, I don't think that necessarily has to mean that he's in there, because the tube is the only way to connect to Zordon, whether that be communication or possibly energy flow. So it actually makes sense to me they're using that form of connection to drain him of his powers. Shatter my energy tube. No! Only the good energy from my tube can destroy the forces of evil. But Zordon, what's going to happen to you? I will be gone, but my spirit will forever live in all that is good. Okay, I know it's a kid's show and he can't really say I'm gonna die, but when I hear I'll be gone, I just hear I'm gonna be floating around in this time warp, somewhere between time and space, all by myself, with no form of communication with anybody. Man, this sucks for me, but I'm not dead because I was never in the tube. But whatever good energy exists in that tube creates Z-Wave. So, in my opinion, 
Zordon's not dead. He's just, uh, he's, he's in a time warp somewhere out in time and space and no one can reach him. So, yep. What do you think about that? More importantly, and really the whole reason that I did actually make the video, is Zordon naked? Seriously, okay? We only ever see Zordon's face projected into the tube. We don't see any form of clothing around the neck there. We don't see his neck. In the movie, which heavily influences the show, the 1995 movie, he really does look like Alpha was like, oh, bro, you're naked. Let me just throw a little blanket over you because that's inappropriate. I mean, it's just like some little robe blanket thing. Um, I think Zordon's naked all the time. He's always been naked. 